Greetings. Thank you for returning to uh, the Crop Circle video part two. I hope that you saw part one where we discuss crop circles in a, in a very quick introduction and we dis dis determine that uh, some crop circles are man-made hoaxes made by I don't know, people that have too much time on their hands but a very large proportion of crop circles are the real deal and there has been a concerted effort through the media to, uh, to uh, suppress or not to give too much attention to this. We discussed the Smithsonian uh, example and others. And in this video, I would like to, uh, to discuss the, the possible origin. Uh, as we know, we are in the middle of a, of a, of a war a galactic war. Um, it's the, uh, it really is the war of Armageddon, but the war of Armageddon is not really a, not always a physical war. It's a war for the hearts and minds of mankind, of humankind. Why? Because the result of the war will determine who takes mankind, if the benevolent ETs or the, uh, the malevolent ETs, who will take this planet, who will take humankind to their ranks. Uh, this is Earth, it's a beautiful planet, and the war is being waged Right now, the War of Armageddon has been waged right now in the minds of every person in this, on this planet. We know that uh, there are two groups, or well, there are several groups, but broadly speaking, there are two groups. There's Orion, which is the uh, service to self type of, of group. Uh, includes the reptilians and the, a whole bunch of other guys and the, uh, the Illuminati uh, stooges, the uh, Illuminati pawns of the reptilians. We discussed this in other videos. And we have the Confederation. The Confederation are uh, the group that uh, is trying to warn mankind that we need to become more loving and compassionate. Uh, unconditional love and compassion towards others because these quite quite frankly frankly this is the uh, the only way uh, the way of Orion is wrong we need to uh, to turn to unconditional love and we have been receiving messages such as crop circles, as we are seeing right now on the screen. We've been receiving messages all over the place. Now, the question is, are these messages from Orion or are they from the Confederation? Well, to cut a long story short, I'm just going to give you uh, my view. Please feel free to uh, uh, disagree or ignore. I don't think that these messages are from Orion. Uh, the messages are most likely from the Confederation. As you can see, these patterns, they speak directly to our subconscious. They impart mathematical knowledge, geometrical knowledge, astral knowledge, knowledge of uh, subtle energies and knowledge that is uh, associated with uh, uh, hermetic sciences and the manipulation of subtle energies. And Orion has absolutely no intention to instruct humankind. And the other 
factor is that Orion doesn't want or doesn't need to talk to us. Why? Because Orion, Orion, uh, Orion is already here. Orion is in fourth density, it's not visible to us, but they have the Illuminati Stooges. Um, they are talking, they are controlling uh, the finance system, the, the banking system, controlling uh, uh, governments and, and several uh, sectors of society, media, etc. And Orion already has this control. They don't need to communicate to us, and they, they certainly don't have any intention to instruct mankind into higher metaphysics and higher physics, higher you know, mathematical and um, and, and uh, cosmogonic knowledge. It's not their intention. They they don't want to do this. Uh, so, in my opinion, these images, these crop circles, they are most likely coming from the Confederation. They are most likely coming from higher ETs, maybe fourth density, maybe uh, even fifth or sixth density, higher, uh, uh, higher planes of existence. And these non-terrestrials are trying to basically wake us, wake us up using uh, images that speak to our subconscious, images that impart high mathematical knowledge, high metaphysical knowledge. And even though we may not consciously understand them, but we at a subconscious level, we will uh, memorize these images, we will uh, use these images in a way that when the truth is disclosed to us eventually, because it will, it will all make sense because we have been prepared, we are being prepared, we are being primed by uh, by the Confederation using a number of methods uh, including and especially using crop circles as we can see um, and this priming or this preparation is taking place at the subconscious level and just by the fact that we do have these amazingly beautiful structures uh, popping up all over the, the planet just that should be enough to uh, to wake us up there are a number of people that will shut their eyes because they, they, they don't want to discuss these things they are not ready they will uh, cling to their religion they'll cling to their materialism but that's fine you know it's it's their choice it's absolutely their choice when there is nothing that we can do and there is nothing that we should do um, straight straightening their paths is not our business our business is to talk to those who are willing to hear that is, that is our business and, and that frees us up quite substantially because we don't have the obligation to convince anyone. We don't have the um, obligation to uh, prove anything. We just need to talk to those who want to hear, those who are open to hear. We are uh, we are not uh, uh, completely alone. There are higher entities that care about what's happening on this planet. These entities are sending us signals, are sending us wake-up calls in the form of these crop circles and other things such as dreams, visions, synchronicities, and uh, and, and, and similar things. So 
I hope that uh, you, uh, you enjoyed this video. This is really a very important time, very uh, happy and, and very uh, auspicious time to be on this planet. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like, uh, subscribe and share. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you.